Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a question from one of my subscribers and he is a question can parents be A positive uh, meaning blood group and child be AB or A negative I was reading chart and can't understand please help me thank you so uh, basically uh, all the confusion uh, caused by abbreviation or notation for example Uh, you know that uh, in many textbooks you can find that uh, genotype of the blood group can be IA, IA, or for example IA and IO. This is a very, very bad uh, way to explain how blood group uh, works and genotypes interact and uh, phenotypes are made so I never use such examples as you can find in textbooks instead I'm using uh, following notation uh, for blood groups can be made by six um, genotypes blood group A can be made by two genotypes one would be A A and another one A Or blood group B can be made also by two genotypes. One can be B, B genotype and another one B, O. So as you see this is much uh, easier than what we see here. But meaning is the same. And blood group AB can be made by one genotype which is A. B and the last blood group O can be made by one genotype that is O O. So now let's uh, see if two parents that belong to the blood group A may have children that would belong to the blood group AB or A. So uh, if parents belong to this blood group The genotype can be whether AA or AO. Let's assume that both parents would belong to the genotype AO because if we um, would cross AO with AO we can get more different variants in the progeny than if we would use for example AA and AA. So let's do it. So imagine that one parent uh, has genotype AO. Let it be male and another parent also would be a o and this is going to be a female and when we build the Punnett square we can see what two parents who belong to the blood group a uh, what kind of progeny they may have so here we would have a a a o A O here and O O here. So as you see, according to this um, Punnett square, three quarters of the progeny would belong to the blood group A, just like their parents. And one quarter would belong to the blood group O. So two parents who belong to the blood group A may have uh, children that can be whether blood group A or blood group O, as you see, but uh, they never may have children whose blood would be uh, blood group would be A B. So uh, this variant is possible, but this one is not possible. Now, uh, as for the our age group as you see both parents are positive we have found that uh, they may have of course a child who would be also blood group A but what about a negative sign here is it possible that two parents who is RH positive may have a child who is going to be RH negative so uh, basically uh, RH positive means that on the surface of the uh, red blood cell we have 
antigen. Or we have certain protein uh, that uh, may cause immune response. So, uh, because we are deployed, we have a certain gene that would produce this protein uh, into copies. Or sometimes uh, one copy can be mutated. So, if we would have two normal copies, we may say the genotype of the person is positive, positive. If one copy that you got, for, for example, from your father's side would be normal and another one would be mutated, we can say that genotype would be heterozygous, but phenotype would be the same as uh, this one, because even those uh, one gene would be mutated and wouldn't be able to produce normal surface protein, uh, another one uh, another gene that resides on the uh, homologous chromosome receiving from the other parent would produce normal protein so we would be able to find this uh, normal surface protein on the surface of the red blood cells of this uh, person who belong to this genotype those probably number of such protein surface proteins would be reduced in comparison to this one. And the third genotype can be negative, negative, when person has uh, two mutated genes, one on the chromosome that he got from mother side, another on the chromosome that he got from the father side. So now imagine that both parents would be heterozygous, so would be um, positive. So as you remember, only one uh, gene is enough, so phenotype would be positive. So both parents who is going to be heterozygous and the phenotype would be positive may have progeny of the following genotypes. Positive, 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 negative, positive, negative and negative, negative. One more time, three quarters of the progeny would be RH positive in, in a such a couple, but one quarter may be RH negative. Those both parents can be RH positive. So as you see, RH positive parents that belong to the blood group A may have a child that also would belong to the blood group A and would be RH negative. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.